Hey, so I just had a few thoughts about the passing of um, Paul Catamol, the former star of uh, S Club 7, who died um, a couple of days ago. Um, now, obviously, I have big respect for uh, Paul because he was a big part of mine and um, some of my family's childhood. Um, um, obviously, he starred in Miami 7, which was a TV show that got S Club 7 famous, and they went on to have um, a lot of hits in uh, in the charts. Um, here in the UK, at least, um, and obviously I respect Paul for um, for being part of that. And you know, he acted and sang and um, was a you know, good personality for that. Um, but one thing I did learn recently was that he was um, he the reason why he left S Club Seven. He was the first member to uh, to uh, to leave um, was because he wanted to chase his dream of being in a heavy metal band, um, which I've. Again, I, I really respect that decision of his to, to leave behind the, the, the fame of S Club 7 and, and go for something that's more um, basically his, his passion, really. Um, and I understand that the reason he got involved in S Club in the first place was that he found it sort of too, too good of an opportunity to turn down. And it, sort of the whole kind of thing got me thinking about sort of the nature of fame. And obviously, you know, if, you, if anybody had the opportunity to be famous tomorrow, would we take it? You know, and and um, I think for the majority of us, we would probably answer yes. But then, I mean, I know Ricky Gervais, the uh, comedian, got into a bit of trouble um, a few years ago when he said, "Oh, what?" Someone asked him, "What would be your advice if you wanted to be famous?" And he said, he quipped, um, "Go out and murder a prostitute," which is obviously, you know, not not to be taken literally. But he was making a point that, you know, what is the nature of fame? And what is the point of fame, really? And, um, you know, I think that was a very um, interesting point that he made. Um, so, you know, I think really with with, with Paul, you, Paul Catamol, you know, you've got to say, for me, you know, well done for chasing your dream and well done, hats off for, for realising at some point down the line that this wasn't the type of fame that he was comfortable with. And, you know, maybe he wasn't comfortable with, with fame at all. I don't know, you know. Um, but, um, you know, I think he... Uh, he, he eventually um, followed his passion and yeah I, I, I think that's a, a, what I think most people should do you know I think that's good good advice really to follow your passion and follow your dreams and reach for your own stars in your own special way as Paul did and as um, I think um, you know all truly successful people um, or um, yeah as, as, as all people that are true to themselves do. Anyway, those are my thoughts. What do you think? What is the nature of fame? Would you take fame tomorrow if it was offered um, as 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 a just as to be famous, or would you do you think that fame is should be something that, like say Ricky Gervais was saying, continuing his point was that you know people you know a few say a hundred years ago. Um, people would be famous for a reason you know they they invented something great or they they created something amazing like a, an amazing work of art or wrote a brilliant opera or or an amazing um piano concerto or whatever it was but you know it seems that, that the nature of fame nowadays and celebrity seems to have um kind of watered down what it is to be famous and um and, and people's motives for, for, for chasing that. What are your thoughts, anyway, about fame and celebrity? Let me know in the comments. Cheers, Ryan.